So, former challenger player, I think, currently sitting in low masters. Uh, M deal is using lethal tempo misfortune, and naturally, we want to see what this is all about. <laughs> Hello my fellow misfortunates and welcome to another solo queue game on my smurf account. Uh, lethal tempo misfortune, the idea is that you get a lot of value off of Mirror Mana's on hit active in the mid to late game. In the early game it's definitely far worse than press the attack and I'm not too familiar, I, I haven't used lethal tempo on uh, many occasions, period. So this is quite the challenge for me too. We'll see how it goes. The build is mana mutant to black lever, that's always the core. And then you can go into semi-defensive items like Edge of Night and Death's Dance. So the only thing that's a little bit um, odd with MDL's builds is that he never buys boots. But <laughs> we will have to adapt, I guess. So long. Right. That was actually quite close. Getting hit by Leona there would have cost me a lot of health. So yeah, we're entirely relying on W and Cleaver movement speed. Pretty much. <laughs> I hope this is fine. Like, not even Ghostblade? Uh... Oh god. That connected. Maybe popping potion was not even necessary. <clears throat> Let's not overcommit. Nocturne is flanking. I wanna bait them. Not exactly sure if it's working what he's trying to do there. Diana just gets a, fr gets a free push mid lane, right? Oh, okay, there they are. No, Sona, don't steal my minions, please. I need. Good damage. Ah, Click the wrong minion, huh? We do have heal if we need to. Yeah, I'm missing like every single minion. The most so Slightly paranoid right now. <laughs> I'm not used to not playing with the attack speed shard, but this is what MDL is doing. Alright, we are ahead in CS after all. We see all of them top lane, so we can poke them under tower. Or at least pressure the tower plating. Took a tower shot there, which means I needed to heal out. I didn't see I was still in tower range. It's definitely my bad. Leona has base here. And we could just base as well, to be honest. We're pretty far overextended. They might be coming bot lane soon to gank. We don't have vision. Leona is approaching the lane with full HP, full mana, so yeah, we don't want to stick around for too much longer. Uh, if you don't have mana for pickaxe, you just go for the... Uh, or MDL. The last time I checked, he sometimes went Kull early, but this is essentially the build. Uh, you go mana mean first into Serrated Dirk, into Black Cleaver, and then... Mostly Last Whisper item, because it's just the most damage, you know, there's a kind of anti-synergy with Cleaver but uh, the pros still outweigh the cons. 
And yeah, this is essentially the core of what he's doing with his build. Getting a nice amount of farm here. Catching the biggest wave. Got them all. Perfect. Our team is looking very rough though. <laughs> Zero to five. We did pull ahead in CS, but that's not necessarily enough to help our team. And if Leona wants to take free damage, then be my guest. Nidalee is still around. Leona trying to taunt gives away that Nidalee is here. Changing your body language like that is actually a misplay. Oh, I can't get that. Oh, I actually could have gotten that one, but my auto attack timing was slightly off. Need a limit lane now. Is our team getting a kill, finally? Yay! Good job, mates. Good job. Yeah, that's just old. Make sure we get this without burning more summoner spells than we need to. Yeah, Dragon's an interesting call. Then I need to base get my mana immune to start stacking. Uh, getting it pre-10 minutes is quite nice. So we're definitely up for a... Definitely getting a head start. Oh, I tagged Ash Arrow. I'm just stunned forever. Yeah, I'm running. Ugh, we paid a high price for that dragon, didn't we? Oh well, I can still get my item. And this build, Lethal Tempo again, is more like a late game oriented rune that really starts to shine when you transform mana immune. Ah, and eat too early, mana immune was, um, yeah, mana immune was still on cooldown, couldn't get the stack. Um, <sighs> Six kills Diana, how are we supposed to cope with that. I'm not sure yet. We'll need to find out, won't we? Might be getting dove if Nidalee is in here. Alright. Everything's fine. Need a lane mid lane. Need to be careful not to get Leona altered. Oh no. Save me, fiddle. Oh, that went so wrong. Maybe Nocturne can clean up, though. Oh, nice. So you're saying there is a chance. Yeah, we got the we got the Yoni, so maybe we just outright lose because of that. <laughs> Playing new champions, huh? So by the time you see this video, he's already two days older than by the time I record this. 
as I'm pre-recording. Time management. <laughs> but the first day, or no, the first patch of a new champion is always a feeding fest. Isn't it? Cancelled my auto, cost me the kind of minion. Yeah, my auto attack um, muscle memory is uh, including the attack speed chart, which I don't have right now. A lot of mayhem going down top. Le Ooh, Nocturne is actually popping off, isn't he? I guess it favors me still, because Leona got one of the kills, didn't she? And also the wave is in a position where it pushes towards me. Which means I get bigger value out of, uh, overall. I'm sitting on 350 right now, it's fine. But actually, I think I just get another long sword. Going for Cleaver next. Uh, just the early serrated Dirk really uh, puts in the work, which rhymes, funnily enough. <laughs> I'm not going to put that into verse, though. Oh, Yoni. What are you doing? Getting slaughtered over and over. Leona's on her way. We're ulti in 30 seconds. Leona probably has hers back, right? It's fairly low cooldown, isn't it? I don't think they will commit there. Fiddlesticks won't be getting much. It would have been a nice trap, but if they don't approach, then it just doesn't work. Really? Just as I'm about to ult. How unlucky can you be? Didn't realize Lo you, Leona was paying attention to me because I just turned on Ash instead of joining the team fight. And I waited with my ulti until I was definitely out of auto range. Got one last auto in and then I ulted. But yeah, Leona completely blocked me there. Edge of Night is a very nice item against Leona for that reason, by the way. Because as you ult, you're basically CCing yourself. Which makes it very easy for Leona to hit her R key. But with Edge of Night, that's a different story, isn't it? Nice, good job. Maybe we can collapse there. Let's make sure Sona doesn't get chased too much. Alright, we got what we wanted, we can let them run. It's all... fine.
just take the objectives, kills don't matter too much, and being greedy and flashing for an insecure kill, where they have the opportunity to turn against you, that's not what you want to do. You don't want to put yourself at unnecessary risk. Really? I dodged into that. <laughs> they didn't notice though, and I was too far away already. But yeah, that cost me some summoners, huh? Diana's on her way down, and the wave has just been cleared, which means we have a nice window of opportunity to go back. Okay, now I'm also quite tanky. The 400 HP on Black Lever really matters in this one-shot the ADC meta. Yeah, we're definitely fine. We get a 22-ish minutes mana immune transformation, I would guess. Only we didn't lose so many structures already. Diana bot side river. All right, she's going with Len again. I don't have boots, I can't catch her through minions, as minions cancel my W. Ah, oh, she based. That's a shame, but we got the tower at least. Now I can get my cleaver. And hopefully we can start doing something about this Garen. Mm. What do we want next? Uh, I guess we want Edge of Night for the Leona. And then we can build like more to Reminder to counter Garen's death stance. Yeah, Edge of Night more to Reminder, and um, that stance seems like a good build. Not exactly sure what to farm. Raptors are gone, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Dragon in one minute, so we definitely shouldn't die. <laughs> Even though death timers are still lower than one minute, but, you know, dying's never a good option. Ideally, I now farm until I get pickaxe. <clears throat> Not quite sure what all these pings are supposed to communicate, but do your thing, bro. It's gonna get warded. Okay. Yeah, we need someone to mirror the Garen, and Yoni has teleport, so that's his job, definitely. Ooh, nice. Nocturne ulti cancelling Ash E. I should've just ran. I thought maybe we can do something there, but that was doomed. 
the latest of ultimates. And now he just kills himself. Okay, that did not go according to plan <laughs> at all. I wonder if I should just get the ruby crystal. And then farm until 1.4k. Uh, I guess, I mean... If I don't die again, then I should be able to farm that. If I die again though, I get hard punished, so I need to focus on not dying. The problem with Yoni, by the way, is not only is he a new champion that attracts uh, new players who feed on him, he's also a Yasuo, Irelia, Riven type of champion that attracts players who only care about popping off. So they either feed very hard or they perform well, and especially like at the beginning of a champion's life cycle, they are more than likely to feed. <laughs> But yeah, it's alright. Maybe he gets his 2 and 10 power spike. Where? are these people? Red Leona ult off the table. Okay, that might be Baron. If Fiddlesticks fancies Oh, that just based? Alright. Their jungler is dead for another 20 seconds. Calculated. Ah, oh, the Penta. <laughs> All right, no Penta. But yeah, we shouldn't have continued, Baron. <laughs> Can tell you so much. Um. Actually, let's go into death stance first. I want to be able to sustain through this. Or... It's tempting. You know what? I think this is also fine. Garen finished his death stance and he has Conqueror, so... Going for more to Reminder is definitely doing... A good... How, how do you say this? It's definitely um, in our favor. In this ma what is my microphone doing here? All right, I hope this is fine. Okay, <laughs> it's an old microphone by now. Maybe I should get a new one soon. Who knows? And there is Diana. Oh no, Sona. No, no, Sona, please. That might be barren for them now.
Oh, that popped my spell shield. Tragic. I'm ulting Fiddlesticks so they can't just jump on him for free. Really? Uh, not gonna lie, that's a little bit frustrating. They all survived with like 1 HP. Oh well. I just need to scale more. Again, this build, late game, should be rather strong, shouldn't it? Especially once we survive. Ooh. What? <laughs> she just 1v1 their jungler. I mean, she's a level 12 support, which is kind of decent. Uh, supports are typically more underleveled than that, but still. Let's take another wave. They are not at, uh, on Baron, I think. I hope Nocturne's fine, but he looks dead. Yeah, he looks very much dead. Yoni looks dead too. Okay, that's barren for them. Uh, so I can just farm until I get my last whisper. Please fiddle. Maybe we challenge that. Yeah, so I guess we do challenge that. Where's my Penta, boys? Can can anyone tell me where my Penta get, uh, went? Oh, my Penta went top lane, alright. There we go. Your 4k gold, that's quite a bit. <laughs> Should definitely go shopping. Okay, so another question is, as um, as a YouTuber who thinks marketing is very important, how do I make the most clickbaity title out of this? I want to see your suggestions in the comments. <laughs> what would be a good clickbaity title? I mean, you see the title I chose on the screen, but um, I want to see your ideas. What's the, what's the best way to market a pentakill like this? Get another one, maybe. Market it even better. One. Okay. Let's one v one the Garen. 
with no movement speed. Okay, if he just chooses to run away, then he does. Fettel can solo the dragon at this point. And uh, we can push in the mid lane tower at Inhibitor. We should have enough time, right? They spawn in 15 with Baron buff, yeah. We can do quite a bit to their base. Now we just reset and take bot lane because Baron spawns sooner than the next Drake, which makes it a better target. Okay, what to get last? Um, I would even say just Infinity Edge. Just straight up raw Infinity Edge, definitely the highest damage. What are we doing mid lanes? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. We should be pressuring another lane to get more inhibitors. They're all missed though. We saw Leona and we see Garen. Okay, they're mid lane. Due to lack of vision, we could still be flanked though. 44480. Jin would be proud. Oh, they actually get a kill there. Crazy. Despite all of us being bot lane. Yeah, we just siege this. Ah, I lost my spell shield for no reason. Guys, you're losing your base. What are you doing? You literally can't do anything. I'm unkillable. Ah, oh, I'm attacking the wrong target all the time. I think I misticked on minions too. So fine, we did a lot of damage. We took inhibitor plus their base towers plus, um, yeah, GG. It's over. Or is it? Or is it? Yo, the save. The Diana respawn. <laughs> what can you build out of this, though? Yeah, IE is definitely the best option. I misclicked on- I auto-attacked one minion, I saw that. It's definitely what cost me that fight. Um, we're probably going to end off of the next push anyway, so get BFs. We can't get a GA though, no, it's too expensive. Get a BF sword, get a potion. Just get maximum combat stats here. 580. No, just pressure top lane. And you see, this is why I wanted to push bot lane earlier, not top lane. Because with bot lane inhibitor gone, they need to send people there, especially without base towers, which means they cannot defend Baron. With top lane, that'd be a different story. Yeah, fine. I take it. Pop the scrying plant. Come on, Yon. You can do it. Okay, then don't pop the scrying plant. It's fine. If they come, we turn instantly. Alright, finally. Is he still doing Baron? Wow, what an idiot. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Why are you on Baron? 
Hmm, what's the better objective? Baron or the enemy Nexus? Answer in the comments! I can definitely see uh, what MDL means. This build definitely has the late game power to it. No denying that. We only got two honors though, which is kind of a shame. But if you want to see the build I consider the best one, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.